What's the name of the sandwich? Sandwich is in Arabic, hummus. 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 Hummus sandwich. Hummus. Okay. In English, chickpeas. Chickpeas. Yes. Espanol, garbanzo. Garbanzo. Italiano, chichi. 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 Good. Shukran. Shukran. Marhaba. What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm talking to you guys from a brand new city. We are in the city of Fez. And for those of you guys who have been part of the channel for a very long time now, you know that this is not my first time here in this city. This is actually where everything got started for me on YouTube. And I'm super, super blessed to be able to come back here because I've been dying to come back ever since my first video ever on this channel took off and it was from here in Fez. But we'll talk a little bit more about that later on in the next video. However, today guys, I'm gonna be taking you on a small tour through the Medina here in Fez and we're gonna be focusing on the street food. This is a street food video. We're gonna be doing lots of eating. We're gonna be trying a lot of local Moroccan snacks and I'm super excited to bring you guys along for the adventure. Right now, the streets are active. It's about to be prayer time here in about two minutes. So I'll share a little bit of that with you guys as well. But join me for an awesome adventure from here in Fez, one of my favorite cities in the country and one of those places that you have to visit. If you come to Morocco and you just go to Marrakesh, trust me, you missed out on so much. Join me guys, this is gonna be some good fun. Now you may have noticed this beautiful gate right behind me and this is one of the many entrances into the Medina and one of those places you have to visit when in Fez. This is the Bab Bujlar Gate. I'm pretty sure I pronounced that incredibly wrong but it's also known as the Blue Gate and this was actually built at the start of the 20th century and there's a sign right here that actually tells you a lot more information but I'm not going to go into depth into that because we are in a street food video but it was built at the beginning of the 20th century how cool is that and right here it actually says that the main square right behind the gate where there's now a bunch of different restaurants and like pomegranate juice stands that area was actually where entertainers snake charmers and educators would hang out how cool is that now it's time for us to jump on into the medina and start this stroll because i'm really hungry and it's actually starting to warm up quite bad right now. It is winter time. It's around 11 degrees most, most of the time throughout the day. So we need to get this food tour started. So the first place we're going to be eating at today is this stand right behind me called the Snack Perfect Place. And I came back here because this man is super friendly and I seen him earlier today and I told him I'll come back and I'm a man of my word. So I came back here and he's actually selling these um, sandwiches that come in like a French roll and I believe they're called mixtes. If they're not called mixtes, please let me know down in the comments what they're called. But they smell absolutely incredible and I just ordered one with beef. Now I believe this sandwich is gonna consist of many different parts of the cow into a sandwich, that's why it's called a meat steak. So unfortunately, I wasn't able to document the whole process because it turned into a huge argument between the workers because it turns out that they actually charged me five dirham more for the sandwich than what the actual price was. It's supposed to be 10, but I'm not complaining. It's only literally a 50 cent difference, but one of the ladies got mad at the man and said, why are you being dishonest with them? And they started fighting and yeah, long story short, it was a mess but here's my sandwich guys it looks absolutely incredible there's all kinds of different meats in there spices it smells so good and the bread i mean look at this look how fresh it is so soft so good so here in morocco uh the french actually lived for many years so they developed a lot of the same cooking techniques and they make the bread the same exact way as the french do let's bite on into this Oh man. Yo, that is so good. What is very different about this sandwich is that there are so many different textures of meat inside. So it's kind of hard to grasp exactly what I'm biting into, but delicious it is. Wow, so good. I see why people in Morocco 
love to stop by for a quick sandwich as they're walking through the Medina through the markets because they are incredible and you can rest assured that you're gonna left or be left extremely full after this bad boy right now we find ourselves walking down an extremely vibrant and colorful alleyway the Medina is definitely an experience on its own it's unlike any other place in the world I've ever been to the streets and the alleyways are extremely vibrant such as this one So as I was walking through the Medina, I just came across this shop right behind me where they're actually making like, um, how do you say it, uh, tombstones, gravestones, a plaque for those who have passed. And it's quite cool because they do it all by hand into like a piece of marble. And not only that, man, these people are extremely talented. I mean, you can imagine that you can't make any mistakes. You can't make any mistakes at all when you're carving into that piece of marble or else all of the profit and the cost of that piece is gone. And I was actually talking to one of the guys. He was super kind. I gave him a tip for allowing me to record. And um, he was actually telling me that after they do all of the carving is when they actually paint it and then put like a, a lacquer or a gloss over it. How cool is that? Now this Medina, as you guys can tell, is extremely vibrant. They sell everything from leather goods that can be found uh, from the tanneries or that are actually created here in the tanneries to jewelry to, of course, all of the fake designer goods. It's quite cool. This one. This one? Yeah. You make it? You make? You? No? Merci. 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 Up next, we got some sweets. Now, this one here is a kanafe, but a kanafe roll. If you guys watched the Istanbul series, we had kanafe, but on a plate, and it was circular. This one here is in a roll, and it looks incredible. We got some pistachio shavings on top, and there's almond and honey inside. Let's give this a go. Mm. Okay. Wow. That is amazing. Now this here, well, I gotta stay away from. This is dangerous. This is incredibly sweet. I can see myself easily eating like three or four pieces of these in one sitting. So I'm gonna take one bite and then we have to continue because if we hang around here too much longer, the body is not gonna be happy. Mmm. Wow. Chokran. Chokran. Thank you so much. Oh man. So we have to interrupt the street food video because guys, look at what we just found behind me. An argon oil extractor and you know it's 100% authentic argon because all of the locals are shopping here buying their oil. We just saw a lady leave with a bag full so it's quite cool. He grabs his ingredients and he throws it on top of like yeah, the extracting machine and the oils just pour out. You can get almond oil, castor oil, coke oil, black seed oil, linseed oil, all of the oils and it is 100% authentic Moroccan oil. How awesome is that? This is so cool. What a day we're having, right guys? And just like that, we got our bottle of almond oil. So we actually got the almond oil, not the argon oil, because Gladys is actually gonna be filming a dedicated video about the argon oil process later on. But how cool is this? It is amazing. I don't think I've ever witnessed how they actually extract oil from almonds or any other sort of seed and as i mentioned that place was full of local people so definitely come there to buy your oils because we were in a place in marrakesh that was selling like 100 percent argon oil in a bottle like this and they wanted 20 30 dollars here you actually get to see the complete process so it's nice because you know what you're getting is 100 percent authentic our next bit of street food is definitely something that all of you have heard of before and that is an omelet an egg omelet or also known in espana or in spain tortilla because it's egg with potato and all kinds of herbs now i wasn't expecting to eat this but i had to throw it in there because a lot of the locals are coming up and buying this omelet from this little cart right behind me and it smells absolutely incredible and he also offers it with french fries but i figured that's a little bit too filling however let's dive on into this it looks amazing guys mm. okay it's super delicious, but it's definitely not like an omelet that I'm used to. Definitely resembles more 
of the tortilla espanol, or the Spanish tortilla, because of the potato inside. Okay, that is some good stuff. Honestly, this morning we spent $15 on breakfast, and it was quite bad. This here, I could see myself eating and being completely satisfied over. And this was five dirham, something like 50 US cents. Mm. Wow, let's continue. So we just jumped into the Al Altarin Madrasa, which is a 14th century Islamic school. And let me just tell you guys, this place is beautiful. Now to enter here, it costs 20 dirham. And we were simply walking by and we had to jump in because we actually don't know if we're gonna be back in this side of the Medina the rest of the trip. And when you're walking by, and something just pops up, you have to take advantage of the time and enter because when you're on a vacation, time just goes by extremely fast. Now, this place is super beautiful. A lot of people are here on tours. I'm sure there's a lot more information that even I don't know about this place just based off of reading just a little sign in the front. But either way, it makes for a great place to come into, walk around, take photos, and enjoy all of the beautiful Moroccan textiles and designs that can be found absolutely everywhere inside of here. Nareta, yes. Thank you. Oh, it's jam. Wow, thank you. So our next bit of street food is actually a crepe, but I've never had a crepe like this. I mean, look how it's served and it's super cool because this gentleman actually um, moves the flour with his hand and then places it on top of this like steaming hot, some sort of, of grill. And it's super, super cool. I mean, watch the process. Wow, how amazing is that? And then you just see it steam and cook. That is so cool. And done. No more. Last one. All right. So this is the texture. It's a little bit harder than a standard crepe, but it's super delicious. I'm going to try it first plain, and then we'll put some marmalade on it. It's very delicious. So yeah, same exact flavor as your usual crepe. Let's put some of this on there. Mmm, smells amazing. Okay, so that's like an apricot jam. It's very delicious, super good. And I like it because it's not overly sweet. Wow, this is gonna be a new addiction. I actually seen this around the Medina several times and I hadn't actually bought one, but this is so good. Wow, and look at that jam, it's so fresh. I wouldn't be surprised if he makes it himself. No. This is next level good. Let me know down in the comment section if you've ever seen something like this or if you'd love to try this. What's the name of the sandwich? Sandwich uh, in Arabic, hummus. 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 Hummus sandwich. Hummus. Okay. Anglais, chickpeas. Chickpeas. Yes. Espanol garbanzo. Garbanzo, si. Italiano chichi. 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 Cool. Shokran. So I had to save the best for last, and our last street food dish in today's tour is this garbanzo or chickpea sandwich. Now, the gentleman actually just told me that this is called a hummus sandwich, and it's extremely popular here in Morocco. They put cheese chickpeas and some uh, spicy seasoning on top as well as lemon now it's on a nice soft bread oh man i'm so hungry this smells incredible let's give it a go and i must say look at the traffic that's going through the medina right now it is active is it is around 5 p.m now and the streets are really starting to come to life mm. Okay. That is extremely spicy. And it's like a powdered chili, but it is extremely hot. And he smeared like a cream cheese inside. 
the combination is just incredible. I've never had anything like it before. The bread is extremely soft. Mm. Mm -mm. The Moroccan people went crazy with this creation. This is so good. Now, the chickpeas are also fresh. We sat here literally waiting 15 minutes for them to come out. Wow, what a great decision. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please, let me know down in the comment section what was your favorite dish. What else should I try while I'm here in Morocco? And I'll definitely be making another street food video for you guys before we leave the country. Wow, this sandwich was by far my favorite. The combination is just incredible. As I mentioned, I've never had something like it before, except here in Morocco. And it is definitely one of those things you have to try when in the country. As always, leave me a comment down below. Subscribe, smash that like button, it will really help me out a lot. And I'll see you guys very soon for another adventure from here in Morocco. Cheers, guys. Wow. Hey guys, enjoy your meal. How does it taste? Amazing. What's your YouTube channel?